What's up guys, it's Brian and I'm sorry it's a late upload. I had to stay true to the Wednesday, Sunday posting schedule. Uh, today's Wednesday, it's a little later, but I wanted to make sure that I got this video out. Today, we're gonna be going over something that I am continuously learning and one of my favorite things to actually look for whenever I'm bored and I'm browsing on the internet and that is Pro Tools shortcuts, things that are gonna make you lightning fast in Pro Tools and improve your workflow. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right to it. Tip one, exporting clips as files. It has always been annoying to me that Avid won't implement some sort of offline batch export that could prep stems for different audio engineers or if you want to collaborate with another artist who wants stems. The easiest way that I found for quickly creating stems is to consolidate all of your tracks by simply highlighting everything and then pressing Shift, Command, and 3. This will create clips for every track. Next, with all of the tracks, uh, the track clips highlighted, open up the Clips browser and right click on one of the highlighted clips then select export clips as files. And then boom, that's it. You could choose your destination and you're good to go. My second tip is the use of templates. Importing templates will save you the initial setup time whenever you have someone that you're gonna record. If you have multiple artists that you record regularly, you could create templates for each one of those artists. You could set up new sessions using templates which will result in all of your tracks having the plugins which you usually use and they'll already be imported into your session. To save the template, simply just create a blank template or a, a blank session, load in all the plugins that you use, and then select File, Save as Template. It's really as simple as that. Tip three is a big one. It's tab to transients. I use this trick when I'm, for whatever reason, not working in a grid and my tempo is not set. Say I want to drop a beat right before the hook to build emphasis, I could simply press tab to jump between each one of the transients of the beat, make a splice, and then mute the newly created clip. Who wants to zoom in so you have to make the tedious splices and uh, find the surgical point of the transient when Pro Tools already does it for you? If this isn't working for you, you could just click this little button and that'll enable the tab to transients option. Tip 4 is something that I've mentioned in my previous videos and that's Virtual DJ Home. It's a free software and it allows you to quickly detect the exact tempo and key of any record. This is especially useful when you're using auto-tune in your record and you need to know the exact key of the beat that you're working in so everything lines up correctly. You simply just drag whatever record or whatever beat you're using into one of the Virtual DJ decks and it gives you all the information you need at the tips of your fingers and it's all laid out very clearly. And that brings me to our last tip that I learned at the studio in Manhattan when I was an intern. This is the strip silence feature. It's one of my favorite features Pro Tools has, which is why I saved it to last. I always recommend cleaning up the silence in your records before you start the full mix. I'm sure anybody will say this. Uh, it's tedious to do manually at least so luckily there's a key command that will speed this up for you in pro tools you simply just click the clip that you want to edit and get rid of that silence and you press command u that'll open up this trip silence window you could adjust the settings to your liking in this and then you just execute it and it automatically gets rid of all the silence for your tracks and as for the five tips that'll speed up your pro tools workflow that's all i really have i hope you guys learned something and i'm going to be coming out with my next video on sunday might try to throw one in between this just because this was a late upload for the Wednesday. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Make sure you subscribe.